All right, time to test this baby out. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Garrett, and today I will be showing you how I built a ring light. So my wife is a blogger, and she's been asking me for a while about getting one of these. So as I was looking all over, trying to figure out what was this and what was out there, I was all like, I could totally build one of those. I documented the process so I could show you guys how I did it, woodworker style. I started by modeling up my design using the computer program Rhino and grabbed a scrap piece of 3 quarter inch plywood before setting it up on a CNC router. I love digital fabrication tools and I have access to some great ones so I use them a lot. You could still do this pretty easily with a normal router and a circle router jig or by finding a local maker lab. After the basic shape was cut, I cut off the excess material using the bandsaw. The CNC leaves some little tabs to hold the piece in place so I just cut through those real quick. To clean up those tabs, I sanded them down using a belt sander for the outside ones, and then I took a spindle sander for the inside. If you don't have either of these, you could just use a hand sander. The light itself is just a 16 foot rope light in the color daylight. I picked it up from Walmart for pretty cheap. And at this point, I just wanted to lay it out and see where to drill my hole for the cord to come out the back. I also drilled a second hole for the cap on the other end because it was too big to allow the acrylic to lay flat on top when I finished. Finally, I laid out the rope again to make sure it all fit right. At this point, it was time to start on the back attachment. I cut a block of scrap to 3 inches by 2 and a quarter inches by 2 and a quarter inches and drilled some quarter inch holes down the side that bolts will attach through. Using a 3 quarter inch forstner bit, I drilled a hole all the way through the block before bringing it back to the bandsaw to cut out the extra. After a quick cleanup on the spindle sander, I glued it to the back of my ring. As that was drying, I started on the face plates. Using some clear acrylic and a laser cutter, I cut out the plates into four sections. I made sure to add some holes I could use for screws later on for an easy attachment to the ring. As this was clear acrylic, I thought it would be best to make sure I clouded it up so the light would give a more even glow when the ring was done. I did this by sanding down one side of each piece with 80 grit sandpaper. Once the glue was dry, I took off the clamps. Then I cleaned it up real quick using a spindle sander again. Paint time. I used a chrome paint so that it would reflect as much light as possible, giving it a great metallic finish. And then I sprayed the back because, well, why not, right? Once the paint had dried, I put the rope light back in, drilled some little pilot holes into the wood that matched up with the holes on the face plates, and then attached them with a the screwdriver. As soon as that was done, I connected the power cable and flipped it over to make sure it worked. At this point, it was kind of the moment of truth to see if my little clamp system would actually keep it on the tripod. I slid it on, put on the bolts, started tightening, and boom, cracked my clamp. I always knew that this might happen, but I wanted to try anyway. So I brought it back to the shop cut off the other side of the bandsaw, sanded it down, and did what any normal person would do. Grab some extra large zip ties and attach it that way. I may try to revisit the clamp idea sometime in the future, but the zip ties work great for now. And there it is. As you saw in the beginning of the video, it makes quite a big difference alone and is definitely worth having around. It's not without its flaws, but it was definitely a fun project to make. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe like here.
so that you don't miss anything else that I've got coming down the pipeline. I'm really looking forward to bringing you more content. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram at garrett.slazak so you can see any behind the scenes stuff I got going on and cool projects that'll be coming up. All righty, time to test this baby out. Can't find the plug. Where's the plug? Ha, ha, ha.